Welcome to our live training session number 15, part three. In this video, we're gonna be taking a further look at mapping out our fuel, ignition timing, and variable cam tables on our low cam operation. We're gonna have a lot to cover, so let's jump into the live training session so we can get started. Welcome back to our eighth gen Civic SI live training session. Now in the last video we went in, we got our engine fired up on that base calibration that we created, and we mapped out our zero degree fuel and ignition timing table. And after we've mapped those out and we dialed everything in, we copied and pasted both the zero degree fuel and ignition into our 10 degree fuel and ignition, and then we locked our cam angle here at 10 degrees. So we're ready now to take a look at doing our optimization process on our 10 degree cam angle pairing for fuel and ignition. And then in this video, we're gonna go from 10 to 20, 20 to 30, 30 to 40, We'll take a look at that, we'll see the shape of our actual torque curve, and then we'll do our cam angle blend here for the low cam. So we're gonna be going through that process so it's very clear how it's gonna be done. And we're gonna be using our chassis dyno here, but you do not need a chassis dyno to properly tune your eighth gen. So as you're following along with the steps I'm doing here, um, I'm gonna be going through and giving you some techniques or some tips in order to do this without a chassis dyno. So, um, Last video here, we have went ahead and made our changes. Now what I'm gonna do, since I've disconnected and I've powered down my vehicle, I'm gonna repower it up again. I want my live tuning feature to work. So what I'm gonna have to do right now is go and do an upload again. Now, technically, if we look here, the live checkbox is gonna be showing me that the tables are live. However, I have seen problems when I've keyed off the car for a couple minutes and keyed back on again, that the live feature does not actually function properly. We have to do another upload. So I'm gonna do that right now so we avoid any problems. I'll go here and I'll hit upload. And then I'm gonna be making sure that my live features are gonna be live and as I'm streaming my changes from my laptop to the car's PCM, it's gonna be sending those changes properly and we're not gonna have any kind of discrepancies. So if we're expecting as we're doing our changes here, if we're changing our fuel and we make another pull and doesn't make any actual change, that's because the, we have a discrepancy and for some reason the live training isn't working. So we're gonna avoid that, do our flash right now, and then we're gonna make sure that we're, uh, we're, we're all synced up and when we make our changes, we're gonna be sending them to our, our PCM again and it's going to be able to do that feature. So I'm just gonna let it flash here for about 30, uh, 60 seconds to a minute. And uh, let's go ahead and uh, let it go through the process and then we'll keep going on for the training session. All right, so there it just finished it's upload, we can see it's telling us the upload succeeded, so we'll click OK. I'm gonna fire it up right now, and give it about 20, 30 seconds to come up out of any kind of post-art fuel and ignition timing corrections. Then we're gonna be ready to start to take a look at our 10 degree part throttle fuel. So we're gonna go through the overlay method, just sweep through the table, make any corrections we need to, and then we're gonna go in and start to do our full throttle pulls and see where we're at. So let's go here, fire it up. Again, we're gonna let it run here a little bit. I'm gonna get live, so I'm gonna do my F10. We can see we're streaming our live data now, and we can see our coolant temp here is at 133. I've had it sitting for probably about an hour, maybe 45 minutes, um, so it's had time to cool down from our previous live training video that we did, just taking a look at that zero degree mapping. So we'll uh, be patient here, and we'll just let it warm up a little bit. And what I'll probably actually do um, while we're waiting here to kind of speed things up, I'll actually start just to drive it uh, part throttle. I'm gonna wait here until it gets up to about 150, 160 to just make sure it's not having any kind of corrections being applied. And then once it comes up a little bit more, um, I'll, I'll just, again, we'll, we'll start to drive it and we'll uh, sweep the table. We'll get it up to operating temp a little bit quicker and then we'll evaluate that lambda overlay method. We'll kind of kill two birds in one stone. So again, we'll wait till it hits about 150. And 